Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know that you guys really enjoyed the video in Kiev of my kind of top 10 favorite random things in Ukraine. Um, so I'm gonna do a similar one here in Georgia. It's gonna be a mixture of touristy stuff and then super random stuff, as requested. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. For sure, one of my favorite things about Georgia is the crazy architecture. They seem to be really creative, really like outrageous, um, and even some buildings that in other countries like England would normally be quite boring, here are really, really creative. So I noticed this particularly when we were in Batumi, which is like a seaside city, and all the buildings were just mad, really varied, um, like not just big glass skyscrapers, but all kinds of weird different shapes. I'll include pictures while I'm speaking of some examples, but they were all kinds of crazy stuff and I loved it. The skyline was just so, so varied with really creative things. And also the government buildings are especially mad. And normally I feel like a government building where you go to renew your passport or whatever is kind of just a boring building. Maybe at best it's a really beautiful traditional building, but here they're all really modern and really creative. So even in some of the really small cities, they're these like crazy, outrageous, modernist architecture. So the government seem very modern. Um, if you're buying a house, it can be registered in your name the same day. Um, and everything seems really well run um, and very well organized. So we've been really impressed with that, but the architecture kind of exemplifies it in a very physical way that you can actually see. So if you come to Georgia, don't forget to look up and look around you and look at all the buildings because the architecture is epic. So we've come to have a little look at the market and there's loads of art and a bunch of antique stuff. I just bought a pair of earrings for eight lari, which is $4, which is like three pounds. They seem really nice. I didn't even negotiate, which you definitely should, but it was cheap and I like to kind of support the local. So I definitely recommend coming to have a look at this. There's loads of amazing art. It's really varied. You can meet the artists. Some people here are actually painting it. Um, so definitely one to check out. <laughs> This evening we are going to go up in the funicular, which I think is one of the most popular things to do here in Tbilisi. You can do it in the day, but apparently in the evening it's really beautiful and we've booked into a restaurant up on the top. Off we go. Here is the big like Eiffel Tower thingy. You can see if you come up to the top. like I guess English prices rather than Georgian prices but I would definitely recommend it it was really really lovely um, and a tradition that we learned for um, a Georgian tradition is that if you're at a formal meal like a birthday or like tonight where we kind of had a special occasion everyone has to do a separate toast just at some point throughout the meal so we all did toast it was so nice that's a tradition you should maybe add to your family Next up is something which I'm not sure is even legal, but in Georgia, loads of the cars seem to have no front or back bumper. I'm sure they're just being repaired and they've been in an accident and the driving here is fairly hectic and fairly wild. Um, but in England, I'm sure you couldn't drive around without a bumper like that. It looks super dangerous, but I find it really fascinating. I guess it's kind of the closet engineer in me. I love seeing like the inside of the car, but there's so many cars that have no front or back or maybe both bumper. So if you're from Georgia, please explain. So this has been our impromptu co-work, which is called Fabrica. I think it's actually the lobby area of a hostel, um, but it makes a really good co-work because there's really good Wi-Fi. Um, it's a restaurant, so you can just order food to your table um, on their little like app thing. And it's been really awesome. So we've been working here every day, highly recommend. It has also got um, tons of amazing restaurants on a little courtyard part and beautiful graffiti. One 
one of the most famous sites in Tbilisi is the Bridge of Peace, which is super beautiful and this kind of like crazy structure. But I actually think this building opposite is maybe better. I have no idea what it is. It's all locked up. It seems to be kind of derelict inside, but it's this incredible like huge honeycomb tunnel and it just looks like it's come from space and there's two they seem to be like almost bridges from the highway to the town but then they're locked so i have no idea what it is if you're from georgia and you know let me know in the comments um but it's stunning and of course an epic instagram spot also as a side note it's in this like weird park which is actually super cool it's got um like a giant kind of chessboard thing going on um, and all these like different colored bits and playground so if you're coming you may as well come and play giant chess hang out if you've got kids um, it's really peaceful and it's right near the center of town and here is the bridge of peace the big famous spot I mean it is pretty amazing with how many like Instagram-y type spots they have in Georgia. They are obviously trying to get tourists in. Um, I know it's really, really popular with Russians, so there is still a lot of touristy stuff to do here. So even if you're from the UK or America and you're like, I haven't even heard of Georgia, I thought it was a state in America. Um, that's just because it's not that popular in our countries yet, but it's very, very popular in places like Russia to come and visit. So it is a good touristy spot. You just haven't necessarily heard of it, but that is all the more reason to come here and start the trend. A couple of my favorite spots, all three of them are in Old Town. The first one is Gallery 27, which has this amazing rainbow colored stained glass. When I went on a weekend, it was super busy and you had to like basically queue to get a photo. Um, but if you go on a weekday, it's much, much quieter. Also really good is Home Art Gallery, which has kind of a broken mirror display on the outside. So you can take like a cool picture in it, kind of be a bit artistic. And it's also an art gallery inside. And Home Gallery also has a really nice um, rooftop restaurant where you can see out over the whole of Old Town. So I'd really recommend going up and having a drink up in there. And the third one is um, a hotel or a hostel called Checkpoint. Um, the staff there are so, so friendly. Unfortunately, they don't seem to have a cafe where you can like buy a drink because I wanted to support by buying something. Um, but they were really sweet with me coming in to take a picture. They've got this amazing mural. There is a really nice little terrace, um, which they let me sit at, but I'm not entirely sure if it's open to the public. But if you're looking for somewhere to come and stay in Tbilisi, I definitely recommend the Checkpoint Hostel. So this weekend we are visiting Batumi, which is a little city on the coast. Um, it's this beautiful like grey pebble beach um, and it's really, really super popular with all the Georgians and other tourists to come here for the summer. So if you come in the winter it's a bit deserted but at least then you have it to yourself. We're here just at the very start of summer so it's a nice time of year to come and see it. Um, but something that we are doing today is we are going to hire the electric scooters all along the like waterfront. There's a kind of really wide bike path that's like bright red um, and you can hire these electric scooters and little like one, two or three person scooters um, and just drive them around and they're like $10 for half an hour or an hour or something like that. Um, so that's what we're going to do and we have the drone so we're going to film it as well. I think it's going to be really fun and if you're in Georgia I would definitely recommend coming to see Batumi. It's a really lovely city. It's much less hectic than Tbilisi. I mean obviously it's just a smaller kind of seaside place but it's still quite a big city. There's a lot of um, street art. There's a big ferris wheel. There's loads of cool stuff to see so I would definitely recommend you make the effort to come up. It's a five hour train journey um, straight from Tbilisi, just all the way through. It's a lovely train. So definitely come check it out. this one is going to be to film um, but whenever you're inside the supermarkets um, everything has to be individually 
priced and weighted which I think is quite normal especially in like Europe and France and places like that but the thing that I find weird is that they have kind of this pick and mix sweets and wafers and biscuits where someone else picks them for you with gloves on granted um, and then you pay by weight for that so little kind of tiny snickers and stuff you pay by weight rather than by item um, and I find it so weird that the biscuits are all exposed to the air like surely they would go stale um, if you're from Georgia let me know like do they go stale are they just the turnover is really high so they don't get a chance but I find it very weird that you have to go up to someone and be like excuse me can I have three of these and five of those I guess it's kind of a nice old-fashioned pick and mix style but it seems very odd to me so it's a bit of a shame that you can't wander around inside here on the top of the baths but I mean I can see why um, but of course you can go in um, and pay for it kind of as like a spa experience obviously sulfur a lot of people think smells like eggs I think it kind of smells like hair removal cream um, but anyway side note if you go into sulfur baths fully naked fair warning um, but apparently it's really good fun it's kind of a cultural like fun spa experience to do so check it out so guys that is it my top 10 random tourist and local things to see and look out for in Georgia we've had a really amazing visit here we've been here for six weeks everyone is super super friendly it's been boiling hot um, and just really nice and easy country to be around and also very affordable so I recommend you come and check it out um, of course don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments whether you've been to Georgia or if you want to come thank you so much guys I'll see you next week bye